But that fella the other day, um, Mark, what did I call him, McQueen, he, he did mention the 91st commemoration of the first. And how is it that no no, no member of Dáil Éireann would go down to, and it's only 100 yards, what, more, 200 yards across the road from Dáil Éireann. Mm. And they're supposed to spend it for them to be there. Mm. Oh, that was an interesting thing. Look at that. Sovereignty. Mm. That was an invitation to, um, the. we have two embassies in Rome. We have the Holy Roman Sea one and the whole, and the other one is the Irish embassy. And, you know, we have two. And that was the invitation. And, but the either ambassadors didn't know what that was on the invitation. And you could you can imagine me now losing the head over that. <laughs> and then, you know, normally I don't say a word to anyone. Yeah. But by God, when it comes to the sovereignty. No, but I feel that those on misfortunes, they gave their lives. Yeah, and it's not to be desecrated. And it shouldn't be desecrated. Yeah. That's the point I'm making. You know, when you think of what you have at Dublin, right, you have the GPO. Where it all happened, and we're coming up to 1960 now, so I'm watching. You have uh, you Barbara Hill where they're all buried. You have did you come? Oh, you didn't come down with us to to the, go into the 1916 room in in Collins Barracks. That's more than one. And look at the sovereign scenes and things inside them. And look at look at what you have, and you see old air all over the place, right? And that's three. <coughs> you have the four courts, then four with the sovereign seal and the, and the harp, it's not properly aligned, but at least you have it, and you have the sovereign seals up in the court, with air on them, the Sovereign Republic of Era, 21st of January 1919. Then you have, um, you have the Mansion House and you have Vaughan's Hotel. You know, when you think what, you have the whole lot there in the small, and you've lots of little places around with sovereign seals and things of battles. That so the harp isn't a league eventually. The harp's the national emblem, that's not a harp and let him to write it down. And you say, and you go into court and say, Judge, that's not legal, valid or bona fides, it doesn't have air on it. Where are you getting your authority to have it at this court? Where's your license? Ask him, where's that? Where's air on that? Air is the 21st of January 1919, and the 32 county election of 1918 that established it. So that's an honor, it's not legal. The old punts, sovereign seal, See it? You see it? Harp. See the harp? Did I put that on it? What is that doing on it and no one knows anything about it? So let's see. Right. There's your sovereign seal. The constitution. We said the first constitution was the sovereign constitution. That is flawed. The name of the most holy trinity, I said the holy trinity, there's your holy trinity. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It's three. It's on the, it's on, but it's on in, in the, when you put it up, it's, you know, the men's intellect. From whom all authority and to whom all, as final end, all action both of men and state must be referred. Uh, you know, we the people of Era, says Era, that's what it is, the 21st of January 19. Era is the sovereign republic of Era. That's what we are. It's on the money. You know, your title is. That's why you have to have Era on the seal. If you haven't it, it's not legal, valid, or bona fides. And look, how many you know, of our divine Lord who was uh, in our fathers through the centuries. Now, that's what we are. The name is of the, the Holy Trinity. Now, that's Christian in the name. Of the Holy Trinity are three persons in the one God. But it all comes from the sovereign. The name of the state is ERA, or in English, Ireland. Ireland is a sovereign, independent, democratic state. That's the constitution. You know, the constitution can be changed by a vote of the sovereign citizens, but nobody can change the proclamation. That's what indefeasible means in that. So, what and is that doing a, on it? That's actually a watered down version of the constitution. And the first constitution was the sovereign constitution. And, and that, as you say, is watered down and taken away because they don't want you to know what it is. You have that, haven't you? Uh, no. Customs House. Yeah. The sovereign seal, look up in the back of it. You know, uh, 
after the twenty after the republic was implemented, the proclamation was implemented. Did the republicans not go around and destroy all these? Did they destroy that was destroyed? And what did they do? Rebuilt it. No way. In the free state, they rebuilt them. Every one of them were rebuilt. I have a photograph there. And that was the that was administration. That was the seat of it. You see, the customs house was all the administration. Mm. And she was up in the four corners, claiming their sovereignty. Yeah. See? And they restored 22. But, but isn't that a scandal? Yeah. That's claiming. The crown, she come around and oh, lovely. Claiming sovereignty. And look at the, the line. The, yeah. And he's, he's chained. Mm. That's a big, that makes us, that's where Scotland is chained. Now, look, there you are. Mm. Yeah. You see? Look, that's the fur of the lease. Yeah. And... Why did that took the Hundred Years' War? Mm. And to take, they had to take that down, and that's still left up there. There's Cromwell. Look at Cromwell. Put it up. He blames all his misfortunes for that. Mm. Henry VIII. You know, that's not right. What are they doing up there with that? And all their all can't they be straight and all this? Or else, the, the other answer to it. Hold on, I'm to say, no, wait a minute. The other answer, of course, is that you said you but I mean that's look that's unbelievable that document isn't it that's that's it in a nutshell and especially when you think that his job ended and then King Henry VIII became the king in Ireland and he was they were the ones who were look look it's from Clambrensis go right back to Clam everything that those monks <coughs> and all those people who did <coughs> they all those monasteries they and were, all the you know writing up all the trees and all the assets of Ireland and all the fishing and everything else. But then all to the king. Mm. He took over. That's for him they took it over. Mm. They took it for themselves so he came along then he took it all off them for himself. It's always Robin. There's one crowd and always Robin and Stephen. This is what they believed, our ancestors. You know, the harpers of the covenant we said between God and man for all the information, all this was planetary civilization. You can and this is what everybody Every, everybody wants to control, to have that information. If you have that information, I say to you, every time we were conquered, that's the first thing they robbed, and that information to control the, 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 the people in the country. And, and usually to control for the worse, to enslave them. So you should know what it is. So just to give you a start, look, there's, the sun is rising. The sun is so important. If the sun doesn't come up, nothing grows. Yeah. You know, we get up, all our lives is determined by whether we like it or don't. Yeah. And there's the sun coming up. Look, 12 noon, going across the arc of the sky. That's the arc of the sky. Now, they didn't know where it went. It's going down in the west. There's the west. So automatically you have your compass. You know, that's east, south, west. So you know north is behind you. That's why you, you, you never turn your back on the sovereignty, the sovereign sea. And it's like the... the the tricolor, you, the tricolor is always from the everything. You know where I put the my hat over the my heart. That's your salute. And if you don't have it, you said to me about the GPO. Why do you you put the green always nearest the heart? Yeah, your heart. You know. Mm. And and on the pole that is on the flagpole, the green. That's your sun box and your sound box, right? That's New Grange. Now Old Grange is in Knockgar, and that's for looking at the sun and looking at the sun in the Wilshire telescope. And running the sun through that, the sun box and the sound box, you can control the winter and summer solstice. And that's crucially important. Everything dies back to that. There's the winter solstice, and the summer one is much higher. See how high these grow up as far as that? Mm. On, on, in, in, on the 21st of June, that, that'll be the full growth. Everything will be, so you'll have the autumn coming in, then you'll have all the fruit, ripening, but no, nothing else is, they're not growing again, grass is going down, everything is going back to that level again. So at the winter solstice, everything will rise again after that, and right into the summer solstice, where it will be at its highest. You, it's the blueprint for the, it's the blueprint uh, for the curragh, that's the curragh, hmm. you know, Brendan Poy, it's all that comes from that. And now that's a sort of a stylized version of it, you know, but that's the reason. I mean, the harp would work. Could work that, would, you could, that could be a harp.
Yeah, if you wanted to play music, you know, the strings. I'm not probably shading here. There's your sundial, you know, the pyramids of Egypt. Everything is on that. Look, the crescent moon. I said, look, that's, there are your moonbeams, controlling all the cycles of life and all the tides. That's the moon carrying the moon in that direction. Mm. You see it, you see that. That's the sun carrying it in that direction. You, you know, there's your key to your ship, how to build your ship. Broken over there. Uh, you know, everything, all matter, that's your measuring tape, your plumb, your straight edge. And look, you put the two together, all the Celtic designs, mm. look at them, all the grid and the graph, how, to, how man learned to weave, you know, trading, crossing the strings. So it's all on that, and that's what's important. Look, you tread the eye, there's the fellows of your wheel, how to construct the wheel. The, the strings then become spokes, and that's the hub of the wheel. So you tread the, the, the spokes into the hub and into the fellows, and then you tread the eye with the axle so men can travel the world. That's where all that is. There is nothing new. It's, all, it's only new to each generation. Mm. Our ancestors knew all that information, but it's been lost and deceived and connived and controlled by everybody, church and state, to withhold that information from people, the way they would control you. But, you know, it is a fabulous, it is a fabulous instrument. Uh, and it's the, as I said, the harp is the covenant between God and man with all the information knowledge for Spanish American civilization. The sovereign seal is, is, is Anno Domini 2004. It's man's intellect and reason. And we said about the strings, you know, what's important of the 12 strings is, um, we, we, we're looking at the four elements, earth, air, fire and water man's intellect and reason, that you know how to grow things, you know now the winter and summer solstice, you know that plants grow, you know how to, how to grow your food. And man's five senses, so that gives you nine strings. And the other three is the sovereign trinity, which is the sovereign seal, the tricolor and the half soldier. So you have twelve strings, that's why we have twelve strings on our sovereign seal. And the harp then is the harp is the national emblem. Is the G looking forward to remember? See, but no one ever takes it up. When was that? Mm -hmm. She doesn't know. Can you imagine that he doesn't know what that is? And she doesn't know what it is. Did you, would, it would have happened in any other country in the world? No. Banana. And do you think they don't know, or they're pretending not to know? There are a few who know, yeah. but they don't want you to know, yeah. and a lot of them don't know. Yeah. That's the bloody trouble. Yeah.